I'm Lieutenant Dan Taylor. Welcome to Fort Platoon. What's great about that particular story is that Lieutenant Dan comes out on top. He, he's OK in the end. Lieutenant Dan, what are you doing here? He's the most famous Academy Award-nominated bassist in the world. Gary Sinise headlines the music group, the Lieutenant Dan Band. It's part of the Gary Sinise Foundation, and they perform close to 50 shows a year on military bases and at hospitals. After September 11th, there was a calling to just reach out to our defenders and to make sure they knew they were appreciated. There's a grateful America out there for what you do. And sometimes you probably think, well, I don't know if there is. But I hope if you ever get in a mindset where you're thinking that nobody cares, you'll think back to, to this day. And Sinise keeps coming back, forming relationships with injured veterans and their family members, often through email. That's how he met Jenny Forney and her husband, Lieutenant Colonel Brian Forney. I met him really briefly in passing. He actually had sent a card just saying that he was really grateful he was able to meet Brian. He came up to see me in the ICU. I don't remember that meeting, but uh, he remembers coming up and seeing me. I was all wrapped up, kind of like a mummy in there and completely out of it. He actually remembered that. And a couple of weeks later, she received a handwritten note from him in the mail, uh, kind of thanking her for her service and what we've done and, and, and telling us that he was going to keep us in his prayers. I never thanked you for saving my life. Why do you think soldiers and veterans relate so much to that specific character of Lieutenant Dan? I think it was a well-rounded character. It's not a caricature. Lieutenant Dan went through depression and PTSD and the trauma, and he recovered, and he put himself back together, and he made life for himself, and he went on, and he existed beyond and independent from his injury. Good job, honey. We're the 99% that don't serve, and they're the 1% that do. What we try to do with my foundation and the, the work that I do with the band and visiting hospitals and that kind of thing is just provide some moral support, some morale boosting, some, uh, you know, help people with their resiliency to keep that energy up. Good job, honey. Speaking of resiliency, Gary, Lieutenant Colonel Brian <laughs> Forney, last time you were here, he wasn't walking. And, and the man continues to fight every single day with a sense of hope. And uh, I think we had the Lieutenant Colonel coming in. <laughs> hey, Brian. <laughs> Holy cow, you're on your feet. <laughs> oh my gosh, hey, bud. Good to see you, man. God bless you. <laughs> This is great to see. <laughs> this makes me so, so happy to see him strong. The next again. big step, yeah. right? Yeah. To see you walking is, is a great gift. This is fantastic. <laughs> God bless you, bud. This is a real hero here. <laughs>